it, guys! Fabulous, darling! Something tells me we've found our special ore. Huh? <gasps> you have got to be kidding me. Uh, honey, are you okay? I'm more than okay. Do you know what this is? It's oricalcum. Oricalcum? Well, well. I've read about it in books, but I've never seen it with my own eyes. Am I sure, he asks? You bet I am. I steal valuable stuff for a living, remember? So this is the ore we were looking for. <laughs> I should have guessed. Ah, uh, sorry. Got a little carried away there. Don't worry, I get it. This here ore is strictly for sword making. Hmm. We're one step closer to making that sword.
So the rumors were true. Erdwin's lantern descends towards Galopolis. They say it began when Yggdrasil fell and darkness covered the land. But why? What is happening to our world? Erdwin's Lantern, eh? Back in Dundrasil, we had a legend that after Erdwin defeated the Dark One, he ascended to the skies as a star, so he could watch over Erdria for all eternity. That was one of Eleanor's favorite stories. And I always thought it was just that, a story. But now I'm not so sure. I mean, if the Lord of Shadows rise caused Erdwin's lantern to descend, are you even listening, laddie? Oh, <laughs> charming. Well, I can share my musings with you again, if you'd like. Heard everything you needed to hear, did you? Well, I suppose this is no time to be standing around pontificating. We'd best go and see what the Sultan thinks of all this, eh? Hero. Fear not, father. I will take all necessary precautions. Hmm? Ah, it is you. Thank you once again for all you did for my son. I... What in the name of the... Surely this cannot be! It's been a while, eh, your majesty? Lord Robert, please, you must listen. What we were told about the Luminary was false. He is not the spawn of the darkness after all. Alas, we were all deceived by King Carnelian. Oh, come on, your majesty. We can hardly be blamed. This is Mordigan's doing. Lord Robert. Now, listen. We need to talk about that star. Sadly, very little. I have tasked my finest scholars with investigating its origins, but they have discovered nothing. Uh, there is one thing that may be of interest. My son Faris claims to have been able to make out runes on the surface of the barrier that surrounds the star. Runes, eh? This is the first I've heard of a barrier surrounding the lantern, let alone anything being written on it. Was your lad sure of this? He certainly appeared to be. In fact, 
He has taken one of our most learned scholars to the Celestial Sands in order to investigate the ruins more closely. I see. Reckon we'd better go and take a good look at these ruins ourselves, eh? It would put my mind at ease if you would, Lord Robert. Ah. Hmm. You have my thanks. I will instruct the guards to permit you passage through the checkpoint. No, no, you agreed to do this. Come, we must move closer. We cannot hope to read the runes from here. But, your highness, I am sorry. It is too dangerous. Do you have a means of deciphering the symbols without entering the celestial sands? Well, no, but... Oh, Principu. Hello, darling. Long time no see. Silvando! Uh, what an uh, unexpected pleasure. The Sultan said you were out here in the scary sands trying to read runes of a falling star. Huh. Guess you grew up to be quite the brave boy. Hmm. <laughs> I am simply doing my duty to my people. The same thing as you, Your Highness. We have come to investigate Erdwin's lantern. Sir Hendrik? The Sir Hendrik? Ah, oh, the hero of Heliodor here in my kingdom! You know who I am, Your Highness? But of course! You are my hero! I am honored, Your Highness. The courage you have shown in venturing out here suggests that you would make a fine knight. Truly, you have no idea how much your words mean to me. Sorry to butt in, Your Highness, but might I ask how your investigations are going? Indeed I was, old man. That fool of a scholar is too frightened to accompany me any further into the sands. I am not one for learning. The symbols will mean nothing to me. Well, I think I might be able to help out there, if you'll allow me. You are some manner of wizened ancient? Excellent! I would be very much obliged. The runes can be best seen from the ruins in the center of the sands.
taking a nap, Principal. Oh, truly, it is even more magnificent when one lies directly beneath it. Uh. Hmm. You're a special one, darling. Don't go changing, hmm? What are these ruins, anyway? Huh? Oh, they have been here forever. Since the age of our grandfather's grandfathers. Or oh, some such nonsense. were built for something very important. I just know it. <gasps> Ooh! Maybe some kind of stage! <gasps> you weren't wrong about the runes, Your Highness. I can definitely see some on the side of the lantern. Are you okay, honey? You were talking to yourself, and we all know what that means. of shadows the lantern it has disappeared the star was named for Erdwin but can such an ominous phenomenon truly be the work of heroes uh, that was no foul creature sir Hendrik that was the savior of Galopolis hmm. the kingdom is saved I must return to the city and spread the news! <laughs> yes! <sighs> hmm. <sighs> 
Chalasmus. What could that mean? Hmm. Why don't we go ask the Sultan? Aye. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? 